Hey there, friends. This is Gina Scalpone. I am the business owner of Glam Harris, and I've been a hairstylist for 24 years and a business owner for almost a decade now. So crazy. So I have some interesting things I wanna share with you guys today. I spoke with two separate uh, people this week, just in the last few days. One was a hairstylist, one was not a hairstylist at all. Both, both of them business owners, service-based business owners. And they were talking about not feeling motivated and not having any momentum. So I, it might be partially to do with coronavirus because this is kind of crazy times right now. And as hairstylists, we cannot wait to get back to work. We cannot wait to get to making money and styling our clients and going back to the jobs that we love. But I feel like both of these instances this week really didn't have much to do with the coronavirus. So I just want to share some tips and tricks with you guys and hopefully help you feel more motivated if you're not feeling motivated or if you've lost your momentum. So are you feeling motivated? Have you lost your momentum? I got answers for you. So I'm going to ask you a question first. Ask yourself this. Do you have specific goals? If you're feeling not motivated, if you're not feeling you have a, like you have no momentum going on in your business, do you have specific goals? I'm talking quarter two goals, quarter three goals, not five years down the road, not even at the end of the year. I'm talking shorter bite-sized goals, monthly goals at the end of May, at the end of June, at the end of July, weekly goals, quarterly goals, because I feel like there's a strong correlation. If you have those goals set, you have momentum, you have, you have, you want to get out of bed and you want to jump up and get your things done. You want to run your business. You want, you're motivated if you have those specific goals. I used to not have those goals a few years ago. I just woke up, did my thing, had no goals. You know, I mean, I was make, making great money and have all my great clients and things like that, but I didn't have any spe specific goals. So it helped, it kind of makes your mind wander and it can help you can get in places and ruts where you're not feeling as motivated. So, what I would strongly recommend is to come up with goals, whatever it is. For me, it's easy to come up with dollar amount. So I come up with dollar, dollar goals for the end, year end, for the quarters, and then I figure out how I'm gonna make that money per in bite-sized pieces by the end of the month, by the end of the week, by the end of the quarter, that kind of thing. That keeps me on track. Three great reasons to have a goal is one, it gets you out of bed in the morning. It makes you want to get up and start getting your, your things done when you have goals. The second great reason to have specific goals is it the goals hold you like accountable. So you have like specific goals you made up. So now you have to get those goals done. And the third reason to have smaller bite-sized goals is when you accomplish them, it feels amazing. You feel proud, you feel successful, and you know what? When you accomplish goals, it's addicting. Then you want a bigger goal, and then you want to reach higher. It helps to keep you from thinking small and playing small. So I would highly recommend that you guys figure out a way to have goals, bite-sized piece, bite pieces, quarterly, weekly, monthly, that kind of thing. And this way, you won't ever feel like you're not motivated, and you won't feel like you lost your momentum. So I hope this helped you guys out. I would love for you to be on my email list if you're not on it already. I always share business tips, uh, tricks, and strategies every week in my emails. You can go to glamharris.com slash mindset to sign up for my weekly emails, or you can just direct message me and let me know you wanna be on my weekly email list and I will get your email that way. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night. Bye.